guys, let's talk today about leg training. There's a reason why guys get a bad rap for not training legs. It's tough. Legs are literally like half the body and they take a fuck ton of energy to train. However, when you do train them, it is so physically demanding that the body has a natural response to release all kinds of awesome muscle building hormones like testosterone, this, that, and the other. And that benefits all your other muscle groups. So in essence, you're kind of in a roundabout training for better delts, better better uh, biceps, and et cetera. Because I mean, they're gonna reap the benefits of your leg training. Um, in addition to that, in addition to that awesome physiological response, let's talk about the looks again. Um, guys are guilty of it, checking out uh, ladies in yoga pants. What's the first thing you notice? Ass and legs. So, women will not admit to it. Well, some women won't, but all women for the most part, I can, I can say with 99.999% certainty, all women love a great butt on guys. And um, you're not gonna get a great butt unless you train legs. Um, so as far as keeping it simple, check out my legs. I had not performed squats for about two years in this video. Um, I did leg presses and a uh, fuck ton of lunges. I kept it simple. Now I must say that genetically I do have some pretty decent legs. I have a predisposition to develop glutes, quads, and hamstrings a little bit easier. They're not, they're not by any means freakishly developed, but it does come kind of naturally. So I got away in the past with just doing um, lunges, hamstring curls, deadlifts, and leg presses, and that was about that was about it, and, and leg extensions. So I kept it simple in my approach to leg training in terms of uh, exercise selection. I didn't overthink it, I didn't uh, have to do a bunch of, uh, you know, I didn't, in, in one particular workout, I wouldn't do 10 exercises. I'd do about four at the most. But in those four exercises, I brought the intensity. When you're, when you're training for a, I guess uh, bodybuilding and aesthetics, you always want to train for that feel. Once you have the feel and the connection, mind-muscle connection down, then you add the weight. Now, uh, to build my legs, I did very heavy lunges, and with the lunges, I'll tell you, uh, I think they're actually superior to a squat for total leg development. In, in the lunge, you do a nice stretch for the hamstring, uh, big ass stretch, no pun intended actually, on the glutes and an awesome, awesome stretch on the quadricep. And uh, you're actually doing it unilaterally, um, one side at a time, so you can get maximum development in each leg versus doing, uh, let's say, a leg press with both feet at the same time. So I'm a big fan of the lunge. Um, uh, hamstring curls, I, I try to do those unilaterally too, and of course at the same time, along with, um, I think the biggest exercise you can do for the hamstring is a Romanian deadlift, stiff leg deadlift with barbells and dumbbells. Sometimes I will superset these and sometimes uh, I'll just do straight heavy sets. It's just kind of what I'm feeling for that day. If I want like a hellacious pump and uh, some burning lungs, I'll superset three exercises at the same time, but I'll always keep it very simple. Basic exercises, heavy weight, feel it, and uh, kind of push myself. If, if it's tough to push yourself, I recommend get, uh, getting a log. It's just a little book. You write down what you did, w what you do in every workout, and every progressive week, you push that. Whether it be uh, with repetitions, cut the rest time, weight, increase the weight, always kind of beat the log. This way you're always making forward progress. So that's it for legs. Um, 
it's part of the body. It's tough, but I mean, it just makes sense to train the legs. It'll benefit everything else. So I like questions and comments. Subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. I'm looking forward to doing another vlog and being a little bit more silly and not so informational on video again. So take care. God bless. Catch you later.